Hello Hanji, the highly requested turbo tutorial is finally here so let's click that subscribe button and the notification bell. I'm just going to talk you through the gear skier that I use. This is the Bonga. This is the first gear skier. It's uh, four and a half meters and it's made of full voil. We have the second gear ski. This is uh, Mal Mal and it's around five and a half meters. Do not ask me about the color. I accidentally put it in the washing machine with something else and it's turned out to be the sandy yellow color. It was originally white. And the final gear ski is six and a half meters and it's made of full voil. This is from the trendy sing. I'll be dropping a discount code somewhere in the video, so make sure you have a look out for it. Okay, let's go. Right, so I've got my gun guard. I'm just going to comb through my hair to take out any knots and just to neaten it up. With the first material, I'm just going to go around the hair to make sure it's completely tucked inside and give it a few twists to turn it into a flat gutti. Once that's done, I'll grab the ganga and just uh, place it into the back of it. And I'll use the lards to go around the gutti a few times just to give it a bit of volume. What I like to do is I'll also use the material to go around the back of my head just to make it more sturdy. What I found when tying a bonga, it makes the entire geeski very sturdy and very strong. It doesn't move at all. When I was playing sports in school, when I was going MMA, when I go to work now, it doesn't move at all. Right now we're moving on to the second gear ski. Um, again, this is just to give it more volume. Right now actually, I'm questioning my entire existence. I don't really know what's going on. I probably left this in to show you this is what happens when I record most times. So yeah. Um, we're not going to care too much about the shape of the second gear ski, just make sure you're not pulling on it too much because if this gear ski is tight, once you've done your final gear ski in a couple of hours, you're going to have an extreme headache. Now that it's done, I like to press it down just to make sure it's well rounded. I'm going to start on the final gear ski. As you can see, I've left a bit at the back just so I can pull on it later on so the top of the gear ski is neat. Something I've started recently is I will take the first lard and go A to A, but as an oval lard. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a second when I show you both sides. I just found that for me, when I'm having these longer days at work, 12 13 hours, the first ladder doesn't move much it stays in the position I tie it I don't know why I don't know what it is but it seems to work for me it's entirely your choice you can either do this ladder or you can just do the flat normal ladder that everyone else does and one thing to remember when tying a gear ski your first ladder and your last ladder are the most important So here's a back shot of just me showing you that I'm holding it to make sure it's not moving around or loosening. And then for each lard, I'll probably leave 0.5 centimeters or maybe less. And I'll do around three to four of these straighter lards. So as you can see from the back as well, for every lard I do, I'm going higher and higher in the back. And now I'll show you a, a back shot. So you'll see from the top to bottom it's pretty neat. And I've covered up any of the other gear skier. Now I'm going to start going into the oval shapes. Uh, so um, I think I do around three of these. And then the third one will be a fully rounded oval shape from left ear to right ear to give it that fuller rounded look. When you do these lards as well, it can somewhat loosen the lard and from the bottom. It, happened, it used to happen to me quite a bit, so that's why, again, I'm using my other hand to keep it uh, neat and uh, making sure it's not going out of place. And 
and there you go that's the discount code you can use on the trendy sings instagram sang 15 which of course will get you 15 percent off now we're just going to tuck in uh the last ladder in the back and you can see i'm going all the way up to the top there's going to be quite a few loose bits so just make sure you're pulling on those and tightening and uh, tucking them in especially the top back lard that will be uh, pretty loose i'm just going to round it off and make sure it's uh, looking good now i've got the sly i'm just gonna use this to uh, neat and the lards because like i said to you the lards could uh, get loosened as you go around i'm gonna tuck in my hair so yeah that's my gear ski tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions drop them below or drop me a dm on instagram if you haven't already subscribe to my youtube and my tiktok because i'm gonna be pushing out loads of new content okay thank you bye